Welcome to this webinar hosted by the International Renewable Energy Agency, IRENA. My name is Saliha Lockwood and I'm managing the IRENA Abu Dhabi Fund for Development ADFD project facility. The webinar will cover the main requirements for applications in the third cycle of the facility. These requirements are also available on the website at www.irena.org forward slash ADFD. At any time during this webinar, if you have questions, please type them into the chat box and we will address these immediately after this pre-recorded webinar ends. If you cannot see the chat box, please email adfd at irena.org. The contents of this webinar are organized as follows. I will first go through the typical characteristics of projects selected through the facility for funding by the ADFD so far then which projects are eligible and what type of funding is provided. I will then cover the evaluation considerations and process that IRENA facilitates to select projects, followed by an overview of the application process. First, the project, project characteristics. The size of projects selected have varied from 1 megawatt to 6 megawatt and cover various technologies from small hydro to wind energy to hybrid solar PV diesel mini-grids. The selected projects also have potentially significant development benefits and also improve energy access and energy security. In particular, the projects also enjoy the strong support of the community and stakeholder engagement and have the potential for replication. They are also economically feasible and are closely aligned with government priorities. All forms of renewable energy technologies and activities are eligible for funding, including bioenergy, geothermal, hydro, ocean, solar, wind and hybrid systems. Countries which are IRENA members, signatories or states in accession and on the OECD DAC list of ODA recipients are eligible. This eligibility list is in the About page on the website. Note that preference is given to applications from member countries. Approximately 50 million US dollars are allocated in each cycle. 5 million is the lowest loan amount and 15 million is the largest, covering up to 50% of the project cost. The rest needs to be covered from other sources of funding. 1% is the loan rate for least developed and low income countries and 2% for the middle income countries on the OECD DAC list. In both cases, the loan period is 20 years with a 5 year grace period. ADFD does not cover the feasibility study costs and other sources would need to be found for this. Projects need to be aligned with government priorities and this needs to be clearly identified in question 23 in the executive project summary that we'll be coming to in a moment. A government guarantee letter is also required. A template for this is in the how to apply part of the website and also provided in the annex at the end of this presentation. The main evaluation points at this executive project summary stage are on overall technical and commercial plans and potential socio-economic and environmental benefits of the project. The applicant needs to provide an overall summary of the technical design of the project, the revenue model, stakeholder engagement to ensure the success of the project, innovative aspects and whether the project is potentially replicable and or scalable and will improve energy access and energy security. The experts will review these aspects and the committee will select projects based on geographic spread, diversity of technologies and alignment with government priorities. The submission deadline for the summaries is 18th February 2015. Shortlisted applicants will be called upon by May 2015 to submit full proposals. Final notification on selection will be made in January 2016 during the annual IRENA assembly. In order to apply, please register on the website. You will receive a username and password. You can then use this to log in to download the appropriate forms and start your application. If your application is filled inaccurately, the online system will reject it. We therefore advise that you make your submission well ahead of the deadline of 18th February to avoid unplanned delays of your submission. You will find a video on our website that takes you through this application process itself. The floor is now open for us to address your questions.